Here is the incredible story behind Jungle Queens from Xi. To Sheena. At one time, it was an international craze. A jungle queen, and there are several, is a dominant, independent exotic woman who lives in a strange land or time. H. Ryder Haggard called her, she who must be obeyed. Writer Doug Mann observed that the jungle queen looks more like a proto-icon of third-wave feminism than an objectified pinup. The first jungle queen made her debut in 1887 with H. Ryder Haggard's novel She which was about a 2,000-year-old white beauty named Aisha who rules over a native tribe. He dubbed her she who must be obeyed. Margaret Atwood, the author of The Handmaid's Tale, said, whatever she might have been thought to signify, its impact upon publication was tremendous. Everyone read it, especially men. Following she, Rima the Jungle Girl was introduced in The Green Mansions, a 1904 novel by W. H. Hudson. Famed actress Audrey Hepburn would later star as Rima in the 1959 Green Mansions movie. Most might think that Tarzan came before the Jungle Queens. Not so. It was a quarter century after she was published that Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tarzan of the Apes was introduced 1N 1912. Of course, this archetypal feral child raised in the African jungle would become a template for the later Jungle Queens. It might surprise some to know that Edgar Rice Burroughs wrote a couple of Jungle Queen's books. In 1913 Burroughs published Cave Girl, and in 1929, Jungle Girl. Surprisingly, in 2015, Tarzan's Jane becomes a Jungle Queen as well in Swords of Sorrow. Unlike other superheroes, like Superman, who appeared in comics before their screen debut, the Jungle Queens appeared in the movies first. Then in the comics. The first Jungle Queen movie screened in 1899. That is 38 years before Jungle Queen comics. A few of those films would include Haggard's 1899 She, The Pillar of Fire, Perils of the Jungle in 1927, The Savage Girl in 1932, and Queen of the Jungle in 1935. In 1937 Sheena was the first Jungle Queen comic. Sheena was the first comic dedicated solely to a female character, a historic milestone. Sheena's name was derived from H.R. Haggard's She, but is patterned after Tarzan and was similar to Burroughs's Princess of Mars. Her appearance reflected the then popular pinups. Sheena's popularity gave rise to many imitations. Comic book publishers wanted to cash in on the craze. Suddenly there were titles, like Tegra Jungle Empress, Jan of the Jungle, Princess Pantha, and Tonda White Princess of the Jungle. Just look at all these Jungle Queen comics. It was a major craze. Suddenly Hollywood ramped up Jungle Queen productions. Movies inspired comics and comics inspired films. Media companies and publishers were cashing in. Here is a partial list of the many Jungle Queen movies from the 1940s through the 1960s. Then. It. Crashed. Psychologist Dr. Frederick Wortham's 1953 book Seduction of the Innocent blamed comic books for different kinds of maladjustment in young minds. The early 1950s saw a nationwide anti-comics movement. Angry parents and church groups instigated it during a boom in graphic horror comics. By the mid-1950s, nearly 75% of the U.S. comic book publishers had been forced out of business. To survive, the comic book industry began to self-censor, establishing the Comics Code Authority. The code saved the industry, but it didn't help sales. Recovery took years. Generally, throughout the late 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s, Jungle Queen comics were no longer published thanks to the church groups, anti-comic campaign, and the code. Fiction House. That published Sheena was forced out of business by the anti-comic movement. Their last Sheena comic was published in 1953. She Sheena, the Jungle Queen, has been accused of being sexist, imperialist, violent, and racist. In his well-researched article, Doug Mann wrote, A primordial rumble in the comic book Jungle, Sheena rehabilitated, disagrees and says the charges are mostly unfounded, like imperialism, the evidence for her sexism is weak at best. 
A fair court of comic book critique will find the post 1940s Gina innocent of these two charges and guilty of the third, racism, to a much lesser degree than her accusers have suggested. Case closed. Long live the jungle queen. End quote. Ah, but like with most superheroes, there is always a resurrection. Sheena rose again in a syndicated TV series in 1955-56 with Irish McCalla in the lead role. Sheena was back. In 1956 Leanne, Jungle Goddess hit the screen with a topless 16-year-old Marion Michael as the Jungle Queen. It had two sequels. Betty Blythe, in the 1925 she was topless too. Sheena rose still again 30 years later when Tanya Roberts brought her to the big screen. She rose as still again 15 years later when Jenna Lee Nolan brought her back to television in 2000-2002. Like the Jungle Comics, Jungle Queen movies had tapered off from the mid-1950s forward. But, she was the queen that has survived best. She returned in 1965, starring Ursula Andress. Followed by The Vengeance of She in 1968, Another She. In 1984, and is still Another She. In 2001. But in other ways, the Jungle Queen lives on. That dominant, independent exotic woman lives on in many of today's movies and comics. Consider The Hunger Games, Tomb Raider, Black Panther, Dora and the Lost City of Gold, and so many others. These are the offspring of the Jungle Queens with that the dominant, independent exotic woman who lives on and always will. We have always needed her. We always will. It is. She. Who. Must. Be. Obeyed.